this is a bush move with a difference. Because I'm going flying. Yep, flying. Now everything I need to go soaring up there with the birds is right here in this backpack. I'm going tandem paragliding and thankfully that means I'll be with someone else. In this case, it's Phil Highstack, a gliding enthusiast and an experienced instructor. Now, the wind's perfect, so Phil's waiting for me up on top of that hill way over there. I better hightail it out of here. Yep. I've made it. What a hike up that hill. I can't believe it. Yeah. But tell me, how do you get everything into this backpack? What have you got in here anyway? We got a paraglider. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wing. A, a wing. wing and a harness and a helmet and a reserve parachute. All in there. So is this like hang gliding, the sport? Very similar to hang gliding, but totally different as well. Okay? What we do with a, with a hang glider, hang glider has a lot of aluminium tubes that make the frame. Okay? That gives it the shape. With a paraglider, it's the air that gives it the shape. Now, priority with paragliding is safety. Now, Phil's checking the canopy, the harness, and the safety lines. Now, these safety lines or control lines are pretty tough. In fact, there's 150 of them, and one is capable of carrying my weight, so I'm feeling better already. And, of course, we're going to need the good old helmet. Go nowhere without the helmet. Now, all we have to do is wait for the air currents to be warm enough, and it's all systems are go. Hey, Ange. Yeah? Let's go flying. This is it. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, Ange. You got a harness here. Arm through here. Arm through that one there. Yeah. Other arm through there. Right. Now what we do, we find these little leg loops here. Mm -hmm. Okay? And these ones here have these big stainless steel buttons. Strong. 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 Yeah. Okay. And they just go through there. Yeah. The other one goes through there. And then, to keep it from falling out frontwards. Yep. This one here. Okay, there you are. Fully hooked in. Okay, I'll let it go. Let it go. Woo! Bill reckons taking off is the hardest part. And you know what? I think he's right. Flying like this is just too easy. In fact, Bill's even had his 87-year-old grandmother up here in the harness with him. This is a fantastic feeling, and it's probably the closest you could ever get to being or feeling like a bird. Paragliding uses nature's energy, and of course, Phil's skill too. There's no engine, no petrol fumes, and no noise. Up here, you rely on sun power. The sun heats the ground, the ground heats the air, and hot air rises. These hot air currents, called thermals, push up, making the paraglider rise up gently. But don't worry, there's no way we'll ever end up on the moon, because Phil has total control over the glider by using brake lines, which are connected to the tips of each wing. The sport of paragliding began in Europe with mountain climbers, who wanted an easier way of getting back down the mountain. At first they used ordinary parachutes, but that didn't give them enough lift. Eventually, through trial and error, paragliding was born. You can easily stay up here for hours, but Phil says the air is beginning to cool down, so I guess it's time to find a safe spot to land. Being up here, it's easy to understand why so many paragliding fans like Phil can spend five to six hours flying cross-country. That was fabulous. That was sensational. That has to be the flight of a lifetime. Huh? My, my pleasure. Any I've never any. felt as close to the Eagles as that. You can never give this a go too. And thank you, Phil. No trouble at all. Thank you so much. No